So let me give you a breakdown of my recent centerpiece. This is it. It's uh, it's falling apart now because I did it a few days ago and now it's limp and falling down. But it didn't start like this and see the actual original pictures from the day of it. Um, check out the blog. The blog has all the pictures. I'll post some at the end of the video here. But now everything's kind of fallen to pieces. So I'm going to show you guys how I made this little um, elegant winter centerpiece. First you're going to start with um, one of these uh, kind of wine glass looking um, vases and you can get them at Walmart. You can get them for like $10. Uh, but you can get them at Michael's Craft Store and I'm pretty sure the Hobby Lobby as well if you're from the States. But uh, it's a giant, it's what they call is a giant uh, a wine glass. They also have giant martini glasses and everything else and I use a bunch of them for my uh, centerpieces. So this is the one I just chose for this one. You can use the martini glass if you want. Uh, the option is all yours. But you're going to need a few things. So you're going to need feathers like I have here. Uh, a candle. I prefer to use a round candle and the reason I chose this was because it was replicating the form and the shape that you saw in the glass. So repetition is really important in design and for our eyes. So if you are using something with more um, sharper edges or you're using kind of a cylindrical or a cylind uh, like a cylinder shape, then use a cylinder type candle. Don't go changing, uh, have the candle's shape match the shape of the vase, just for this project, okay? Um, and you're also going to need um, a few fillings, whether you use the crystal fillings that I have here, or um, if you want to add a little bit of color, I also chose uh, to mix colored marbles with white marbles, like I have in here, and you can mix them up as well. So mixing them up gives it a little bit of color to your centerpiece, but not too much, because this is a white winter wedding kind of centerpiece and it's really nice to kind of keep it all white and all clear. So um, you will also need ribbon. I chose this ribbon here. It's um, kind of see-through but it has the wiring and the reason the wiring is good is because it kind of holds its shape better than when it doesn't have wiring in it. Um, you can use a secondary, this is an additional um, aspect if you want to add to it. Um, you will need this ribbon and I'll explain why you'll need some sparkly thinner solid ribbon later. So let's get into the project. Um, an, addic uh, an additional, an additional um, piece of info that might be helpful is I used a hair tie and I used um, what I lost here apparently five seconds ago is um, a clip, a paper clip, a hair clip, any of those sort of things become very handy in a few minutes here because sticking these feathers on are not easy. So what you can do to stick them on is um, you can either have a friend hold them against the side of the, of the vase or the vase, however you want to say it, while you stick them through, but if you're doing this project yourself you're going to need a little bit of help. So I used a hair tie and I just stuck it on like this and to tighten the hair tie or elastic or whatever you want to use I used the clip but I've lost it so let me try to find it real quick I couldn't find the clip so I have a backup suggestion for you guys you're gonna take your hair tie and you're gonna tie it really tight so how I tie it tight is just by twisting it it's kinda of the easiest way to go about it and once it's nice and tight you can either knot it or you can take a bobby pin and just clamp it on there and that will seal it as tight as you can possibly get it there. Notice how I still have half the elastic available so it doesn't need a lot but it needs enough to get around this wider base and so that's why you need a kind of clip. So once you clip it you're going to take all your little feathers and you're going to go around the whole outside of this. So the easiest way to do it is to kind of just slide it in like so. So you have it sliding in here so the elastic is holding on to it and you're just going to go around the whole outside and you want to vary in your feathers. So you may want to have some big ones and then some small ones but you want a nice variation so it gives it a little bit of different definition on the top here and on the inside because it kind of looks cool there, right? So I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch me do all this.
Now, I didn't do a whole bunch because this is very time consuming. I did enough to kind of fill a little bit of the outside, but I actually used all of these these um, feathers during the original project. So, and of course, like I said, you can see the pictures after. Um, the problem is, is that I keep breaking uh, the boning of the actual feather itself. Now, these are fake feathers that I got from the dollar store. Um, so, obviously, they're going to be a little bit cheaper, but the plastic boning in them uh, keeps breaking every time I shove it in the elastic because when I originally did it, it is very time consuming for the purposes you got to take your time and go slow and all that fun stuff. But but, um, yeah, so I just, I'm actually going a little bit faster so I can make this video go a little faster. I don't want you watching 20 hours of me trying to put feathers in. So I only did a few here just to kind of show you guys what the suggested idea is. So now you have, um, your clip and your elastic and I thought you know the best way to do this would actually be taking a plastic elastic a rubber elastic sorry that you don't really care about and wrapping it around there um, and maybe gluing it down but I didn't think about that until after and <laughs> I don't know anyway so that's a suggestion for you guys as well but now you're gonna take your ribbon which you see here and you're gonna wrap it right around now while you're wrapping around the first go so try to start right at the beginning of where you've clipped it off and wrap it around and while you've wrapped it pull it tight so you've trapped all of the um, kind of feathers in here. Um, another, suggest, uh, another suggestion for you guys is to make sure that the elastic that you're using is dark or matches the ribbon because you're going to leave the elastic on there um, just as a safety because um, I can try to pull this out and we're going to lose a little bit of the feathers and I'm gonna have to pull it out because it's a bobby pin and it's not gonna look good so you're losing the elastic because you you need to hold on tight to the feathers so ah, see I'm already losing them so you gotta wrap really tight and you gotta wrap really fast now this is gonna be a really crummy job on this but if you have an extra pair of hands they come in really handy and you're just gonna wrap all the way around the base Make sure, because the trim on this one is a little different than the actual material here, that you have it evenly going down and consistently. See, you can see mine here. Not doing a very good job right now, cat. And you're just going to wrap down to cover the full base right up into this first little kind of con, con like a little bumpy thingy, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And... Remember to push up on the flower, the feathers while you're doing this so the feathers stay nice and perky and up like so. Alright, and then you choose your filler. So it looks like now I only have half a thing done, but that's okay. So I'll show you this half. So once you've wrapped that, you've cut it and you've either glued it or sewn the end of the ribbon to kind of finalize the project at the bottom there. Now you're going to fill up your um, candle. But uh, if you don't want, if you want to do the additional ribbon, like I told you, so I have this additional sparkly ribbon, you have a choice uh, for this one. You can either, to help create more glitter, um, kind of almost like snow, you can wrap it just around the top and on the bottom of your, um, the stem of the glass to kind of give it a little bit more definition. So that's an option for you as well. Um, so now we're going to work on the inside of the glass just to show you guys what I did. So I took my round candle and I stuck it in the center and then I used filler. So um, to add some color, like I said, you can get some different couple color marbles. Maybe your colors are red and white and you just want to use some red marbles and some white marbles and mix them together. Or you can use an all white centerpiece for a white winter wedding. So I have these plastic crystals that are going to be really loud. And you just scatter them around the bowl to kind of fill it all up. Now, I only used a, like one package, and the reason is because you don't want to fill the bowl right up to here. If you kind of like that look, go for it. That's a great idea. If not, um, then just do maybe one little package in each one because you, for centerpieces, especially if it's a wedding centerpiece, you don't want to spend a ton of money. And I really didn't on this centerpiece. Um, these candles I got in sets of two at the dollar store. Um, these you can get at the dollar store. I got mine at Michael's um, for I got I had a 50% off coupon so I probably paid about two dollars for them 
Um, the, these feathers I got at the dollar store as well. You can get them at Walmart for really cheap, I know. The ribbon, um, I got mine. It was Christmas ribbon, but I got it last year uh, from last year's sales because um, it was right before this year's stuff came out. And that was about, I think, $4.00. And then this vase is probably going to be the most expensive part of the whole centerpiece, um, looking at about $10 to $15, depending on where you get it from. And you can buy them at bulk stores as well, I know for sure. So usually if you buy them in bulk, you get a better deal on them. Um, you can look online, you can find a whole bunch on there. Uh, just some suggestions for you guys, because the centerpiece shouldn't cost a lot, but I mean, sometimes they can get a little pricey. So this is not bad at all if you think about all the pricing that I just did for you guys. Not to mention... Um, um, you can use them as giveaways at your wedding, so uh, you don't have to keep, like, 20 of these little vases around your house. But if you like them, I mean, they're great. What another suggestion is, is instead of using maybe one round candle, maybe you'll have a few glittery candles. And you can get these, like, three of these at the dollar store, and you could do uh, three little placements. But it's kind of hard when the glass is angled. Um, maybe you just want to do one small one. Um... You guys can also just glitter this candle so it's not white. Um, all you do is add a piece of spray and let glitter sit on it. I already glitter from the last candle and on my hands. Um, another thing you could do is like my snow candles, which I taught you guys in another video on how to do the snow candles. You can use one of those in your for your centerpiece and create more of a snow theme. So those are just some suggestions for you guys, some things you might want to change about the centerpiece to kind of make it a little bit of your own. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little centerpiece project. If you're having a nice white wedding, here's an idea for you. Or maybe if you like feathers, here's another option because feathers can get really pricey. And um, yeah, leave any comments down below. Tell me, tell me what you think of it. And... Um, we will see you guys next time.